I smell a smelly smell that smells smelly. that right there that's going away we're gonna call it a perfect lay of rooster cake Places, right? And I've seen some wacky combinations, but this is a perfect yeah. pharmacy and massage. We all need that in our lives. Rugs and rugs. Here's a pro tip you might not know Royal Caribbean or casinos. When you're gambling, take a look under your seat. If you were sitting in a chair and there's a blue dot under it, 100 bucks in free play. Amazing. You mean like. Like this kind of chair? Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look under here. There's no blue dots. Well, there's a red dot, but that doesn't... No, no, you would know. You mean like a sticker? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hundred bucks. You heard it here oh, first. Yeah. Well, let's go see if he wants it. This is skew mark. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the oily discharge. Final tip we're gonna give you, and I don't know if Trevor's aware of this, but if you book with America's travel agent, Sharon at Sea, did you know that it comes with a free carton of cigarettes? Thank you, Sharon. Romania 2023 for you. Uh, definitely getting away, relaxing. We did a lot of relaxing. Airbnb for two nights, and literally, we just stayed there, bonded with each other, 
got to meet another new person than Trevor. I'd never met him before. Super hard not to like. Uh, got to meet my three other friends. But just hanging out, just really doing dude things. And we had a great chef who made great meals for us. So just a great time. Very relaxing. Um, I would do it again in the heart. So what you're saying is Trevor's super hard? Jesus Christ. All right. Romania 2022 has come to an end. And if you made it this far, you are one of the lucky people who got to see three bros in bed together. <laughs> and if that's not enough for a thumbs up and a subscribe and the bell notification, yeah. I'll be damned if I don't know what it is. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Damn right. Yep. You just said it all. <laughs> Ho, ho, shipheads. It's Clive Moneybutt. I'm the uh, CFO for Adult Glockley and Perlman. And for those of you who don't know, I look after all the finances. Mm. Boy, do I have some questions at the moment. This Bromania cruise was off the charts. Some of these expenses that are coming across my desk. I don't know how, how anyone could spend... Let's have a look here. Two and a half thousand dollars at a place called a bearded clam when i was young my bearded clams never costed that much anyway i've got a lot of work to do to sort through this and figure out how we're going to pay for all this shenanigans but just remember it's wednesday night and it makes a ship show night and we need all the subscribers we can get because we need all the money to pay for this remember bagar Look at that. I'm just taking up the whole stinking daggone freaking screen there, Larry. What? Uh, What's that all about? Well, it's because uh, I had like, you know, maybe 45 minutes to prepare. Actually, I had longer than that. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, Larry, I had longer than that. I did. But. You were cleaning those new golf clubs. No, no. Nope, 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 nope. That is not true. I'll tell you what was going on. <clears throat> I was trying frantically to Okay, fine. I'll just come clean. It took me forever to make the thumbnail because I was having so much fun sticking us all over the place on on one little canvas. Okay? Photoshop is a passion of mine and I lost track of time. It's all right. I was just told I looked tiny. I haven't heard that in Oh, trust me. I, 30 nope. years. Let me tell you something. On uh, Independence of the Seas, right? They, yes. They have these weird, uh, duh, 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 what do you call them? Duh. They're these weird chrome things, Larry. And let me see if I can make myself match. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm coming at you live and direct from the Osmo Pocket tonight. Uh, so bear with me here. Larry and I are both on PTZ, if you know what I'm saying. So let me just, let me give it the old razzle-dazzle here. Oh, goodness gracious, Rooster. Come on. There we go. No, get, skedaddle. I'm already stressed out enough. All right, so let's see. Can I make myself a little bit smaller? I think so. I mean, that's what everyone's asking these days. Sadly, why did I just say that? That's not even funny, Larry. But they, I, they've got these like weird, weird the, these weird stainless steel chrome jammers that when you stand at a urinal, 
Oh boy, here we go. Here we go with the rooster being too loud on a I can hear you fine. Uh, I can hear you just fine, too, but apparently I'm too loud. Uh, listen, Larry, I just unpacked 20 minutes ago. Uh, jammers in the urinal sounds painful. That's correct. Hey, stop tracking me. Stop. I, I just remember a couple of the bathrooms, like uh, the urinals were just in weird spots, like... There, there wasn't much privacy from your neighbor, if you know what I mean. Oh, it doesn't bother me, but it's like kind of a little crowded, and you kind of it was just hard getting in and out. It was just weird. It was oh. just a weird setup. Let's see the ones by the pool on the Lido deck. Wendy Johnstone's uh, telling me to turn it up. Okay, I can hear you. You're definitely louder now to me. Yep, that's right. How y'all doing, you son of guns? Glad to have you. I'm trying to size myself so that Larry's not, or you know what might make more sense, Larry? What? What's that? <laughs> if I size you and make you. Well, <laughs> Larry, I'm going to make you bigger and don't be nasty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Larry, I'm not to. You have a magic wand or something? Uh, I got, well, you know, Kelly, never mind. I'm going to leave that one alone. All right. And I'm going to put you over here where you belong. I think that's what's throwing me off. And then I'm going to do, watch this, the, the cinema that is the ship show. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Now, I'm behind you, Larry. Yes, but I'm, I'm in, <laughs> yeah, I'm in front of my name now. There, now you're in front of your name. Yeah. And you now, got us all, you got us all cooking. You got us. You got it going. So, you just unpacked your suitcase. Yes, but very quickly, can I just say? Yeah. These stinking yeah. daggone freaking uh, stainless steel jammers in the bathroom basically <laughs> were mirrors for everyone who walked behind you. You could see. <laughs> you could see the details. i telling you. It's an oversight. Somebody needs to come in there with some sandpaper. Hey, no! Somebody needs to come in there with some sandpaper and rough those things up or something. Or at least put a sticker on there that says, nice try. You know, like they do on uh, Symphony where there's oh, like oh, animals yeah. pointing at you. Don't, uh, this, this, uh... This mirror behind the urinal is a violation of my... Of my, it's a violation, Larry. All I can say is it was nice to be on a ship with old-fashioned restrooms that were men, women, and you just pulled the door open and it shut. It's like none of that waving your hand in front of a sensor and waiting for the door to close and <laughs> making sure you lock it. I like I like the old-time bathrooms, like on Indy. It was oh, it I was do too. Breath of fresh air. They're like? easy to find. They were. It was just. When crap isn't everywhere in this dang studio, I unpacked literally 15 minutes before the show and like, well, not unpacked. I realized I forgot a few key elements of the studio, right? Are you there? I'm here. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking at all of your stuff. Well, I just moved something. So, oh, okay. So I was nervous because, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, bam. Bam, I'm hitting Larry in the head with my monitor. I'm looking, I'm looking at all, all your background stuff. <laughs> oh, it's a hot mess in here, Larry. I mean, I see some hot items on your wall, like literally hot that uh, from Carnival Cruise Line. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're hot. <laughs> they're hot, all right. But, um, now I forgot what I was going to say. But, Larry, yes. I do. Oh, speaking of old fashions, can I just say you and Jimmy are absolutely 100% unequivocally correct. 
The best cruise drink on Royal Caribbean. The best cruise drink at sea. Don't even come at me with the alchemy. And you know I like to experiment at the alchemy. Best cruise drink at sea. Marshmallow. Toasted marshmallow. Old fashioned. Come at me. You're, you're going to lose that. You're not going to lose, but I'm just going to say you're wrong. And, and here, I, I've said this over and over. I don't dislike marshmallows, but I'm never going to go out of my way to eat them. Mm -hmm. I'm just like indifferent. I'm going to choose something else way before them. And I've heard so many other people say the same thing. But once you have that drink, it's like, wow, is this good? It's just something about it. Yeah, I mean, it is really good. It tickles your fancy. It, it tickles is. your taste buds. And after a couple, it tickles your funny bone is what I'm going to say. Yeah, and here's the thing. I thought we'd only be able to get it at the schooner bar, but you could ask for it just about anywhere. Mm. I mean, it's just become that popular. Are you kidding me? The only place I ever ordered it was at the, the, the schooner bar, for heaven's sakes. You know, well, for me, that was the only time I really thought about it. I mean, we spent a lot of time at Playmakers, and at Playmakers, it was more kind of during the day watching the Masters or early evening, and I, I was still drinking M so light. So I didn't really think about it too much at other places. Speaking but of which, Larry, I wanted to stuff. I wanted to thank you for reintroducing me to Amstel Light, um, one of my favorite beers. Now that being said, I liked it way better at any other bar than um, Playmakers. For whatever reason, Larry, I it seemed as though the coolers for the beer at Playmakers were less um, were less cold. Yeah. And I like, I like my Amstel Light ice cold is all I'm saying. Again, sometimes I've noticed this, that they don't keep a whole lot in there. And then all of a sudden when they order, they may have just gotten another 12 pack and, and stuck it in there. It hasn't been in there that long because that does happen a lot. They'll dig around. They'll come up with one or two. And then I see they go and grab more. But I, I didn't, I can't remember if I really had that many or other kinds of beer at Playmakers. But again, I, th I thought the bar was awesome. It was perfect to watch um, when we wanted to watch the Masters with all the with all the TVs. Um, good location. I, I just, it was, I liked yep. it. I had fun there. Not going to lie. Not going to lie, Larry. I had better service on the ship watching the Masters than I did at any stinking daggone freaking hotel I stayed at. Put it that way. <laughs> we got to the hotel in Miami and all of a sudden we'd get like three minutes of the Masters and ten minutes of searching for signals. So... I went down to the front desk, uh, and the front desk said, oh, yeah, there's a part. Uh, miss, or we need to replace a part in our cable system, and it won't be here till Monday. This was on Saturday, not Sunday. So Trevor and I, we decided to sojourn out into the dive. Well, first of all, uh, let me just say. Um, the, when we got to our hotel, the Beacon Hotel, historic hotel right on South Beach, gorgeous, kitschy, uh, uh, just my kind of place. And Trevor knows, I kept telling him this place is amazing. It wasn't necessarily high class. It was just high history and high, uh, gaudy, but we get to the hotel we decided to venture out for lunch. We had no idea, but the Gay Pride Festival was going on right there. Literally, we were in the heart of it. And you want to talk about people having fun. Uh, a lot of those people probably, well, I can tell you a lot of those people weren't watching the Masters. Um, <laughs> because they were out on the beach and in the bars partying down. Uh, you want to talk about a party, though. That is a party. Even the police were involved. Their cars were painted uh, or had, you know, were wrapped in the, in, the, in, in the LGBTQ colors. It was, it was a party for sure. And it was entertaining. Um, but I'm like, listen, man, I got to see the Masters. And Trevor gets, you know, we talked all week and we joked that Trevor was a terrible navigator. But let me just say... <laughs> Let me just say, after the cruise, Trevor was a superstar. He found 
two. No, he found two of the best dive bars I've ever been to besides the elbow room in Fort Lauderdale. But then he found that cigar bar that we went to. It was fantastic. And we go in there and uh, in the in the the second dive bar, I think it was the end of the weekend or lost weekend. It was called the lost weekend. And uh, I'm sitting there and like racing's on and UFC and like Hialai and stuff like that. And I didn't want to say anything, but my go-to move, and it seems to work for me, Larry, is I pull up my app on my phone and like put the masters on or whatever it is I'm trying to watch. And the guy goes, oh, you're trying to watch the masters? I said, yes, yes, indeed I am. He goes, oh, let me get that on for you. And then we sat there and, you know, yucked it up about golf and stuff. But it was great. I got to see that. And I have to say, I I knew the Masters was going on. And I knew we were getting on the cruise ship when it started. And I really was not intending to, like, waste cruise time watching it. But if anybody is a golf fan, uh, especially on Friday, yeah. they had just ridiculous wind. Just ridiculous, like gusts up to sixty miles an hour, and and it was just entertaining watching these professional golfers, the best players in the world, strong golfing like the rooster. Yeah, I was like, I I turned to Arnold, I'm like, hey, now they feel our pain of an average golfer. I mean, they would miss the green on a par three by 50, 50 feet, and they would just start laughing. They would literally yeah. just be laughing. Even because even the serious guys were laughing. Scheffler, uh, Rory, they played together on the part three. Their their balls were their shots were fifty feet wide to the left, and they were right next to each other. And they both just looked at each other and laughed. I'm and glad you just... corrected that because you almost said their balls are fifty feet wide to the left. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, so it, I I kind of got glued to it on Friday and. Then we then we were kind of watching before dinner and at playmakers and it was just really it just became really entertaining. Yeah. And then then when I um, we got off and I that was the nice thing about the plane, I just I just that it my two and a half hour flight I, I was able to watch the Masters again. So it I again I I didn't really plan on that, but it was just so different from yeah what you normally see these pros doing that you kind of became glued to. It. I mean we'd be sitting there. And I think we even ready to go to dinner. I'm like, hey, I just got to see what Tiger does on this next shot. There. Right. Try to, try to get back from what that first shot he hit. It's like, well, yeah, they like they created drama, Larry. Oh, and, it was and unreal. I got to say, you know, coming into it on Friday, Tiger was in the mix. Yeah. yeah. And, but I got to say, um, it's fun to watch golf with you, right? Because I'm telling you, I was watching... Um, my dad says he got to watch every minute. And uh, listen, Dad, are you going to Valhalla? Because they're coming. Uh, I'm, I'm curious about that. But um, I, I like to watch golf with you. Literally, you would call things that I could not see. And it made it even more fun for me to watch. And to be honest with you, I had no intentions of it either. Like to watch the Masters. Uh, well, not no intentions. I just figured when we got off the ship, I figured when we debarked that um, I would watch, you know, the end of it. But then you would like, you would say, oh, he's in the tree. I'm like, how you know that? And then pfft, he's in the tree. And then like there, would, there was one shot, DeChambeau, uh, he's in the freaking walkway. He's in the freaking walkway. Like, I really enjoyed that. So I think we need to have a master's party, either at your place or, or not master's, um, a, a, a major party. Cause it's well, I will say the one time they were on a hole and I said, oh, look at the top of the trees behind these guys, how hard they're blowing. And with that, we couldn't hear. We couldn't hear the announcers. All we could do is see it. And right after that, Arnold's like, oh, my God, look at the camera. It's going up to the top of the trees right after you said yeah. that. And, and you know what? I was like, I could have been the commentator. I know. That's what I was saying. I mean, imagine if we had – you know how on Monday Night Football they do um, Peyton and uh, uh, Eli Manning's cast, the Manning yeah. cast? Imagine if we had the Larry cast. <laughs> 
or the Bromania cast of of the Masters. Like you're you're breaking it down the right way. I'm like, this is freaking amazing. And and Arnold's like, yeah, I'll never do that. And then Trevor's like, where's the the ice fishing video? <laughs> like I could just, that would be riveting footage. But Larry, get this: my dad says at Valhalla, uh, what's that? The Players Championship? What 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 is that at Valhalla? Is it? It's not the U.S. Open. Uh, they it it rotates around. I I can't remember what major. So it's either the U.S. Open or the PGA Championship. Well, but they've they've hosted other. Uh, oh, it's the PGA. Yeah, it's the they've PGA. had the PGA there before. It's it's uh. I used to have uh, when I I had uh, that was part of my territory, and one day I was just like, I'm driving there. I'm just driving there. I'm gonna tell them I'm just want to buy something from the pro shop, and typically country clubs will let you do that. And I just walked around a little bit of it, and it looked phenomenal, just phenomenal. Well, get this, my da- my dad says he's gonna be there on Sunday, Ugh. and the practice rounds on Wednesday. That. I I'll say this forever. I hey, did. Dad, you got an extra ticket? I mean, I'm just saying. I you know, hook, uh, uh, hook the rooster up. Uh, the practice rounds to me, I like better. Um, they hit multiple shots. They're at the driving range forever. Watching these guys in the driving range, it's just like a machine. Every yeah. shot looks the same, and you're trying to look like, hey, who's hitting the ball well? Who's not on the driving range? And like, they all hit it the same. It's like just yeah. amazing. Well, listen, uh, it was fun. And I, like I said, again, I thought we'd watch a little of it. And I, I really do believe we watch more than what we expected because the Playmakers bar just was perfect, perfect to watch. It. It and was I, really cool. I felt it calling my, like, I, I, I had a, uh, uh, I had like a, like a magnetic force telling me to go watch. But anyway, uh, they say in the, in the comments, uh, when they start talking golf, it becomes the chip show. <laughs> so let's say hi to the people, Larry. Go ahead. Fire away. They deserve it. Yeah, we've been over here yakking about golf, but listen. Well, it, it was still cruise related. It was what we were doing yep. on the cruise. Uh, yeah, you're right. And then it, it brought up great conversation for, for a while. And it just, but anyway. Uh, my kudos to the Playmakers Bar and the staff there. They oh, were phenomenal. They Lancelot. Were awesome. Lancelot. They were just great. They were just absolutely great. Um, I mean, literally, you'd go up there and they'd say, uh, Buffalo Trace and the Rocks. I'm like, ah, okay. And our, I did something different, but they were just like great memory. Of course, they all knew our names. We'd go up there and they would all know our names. Uh, mm-hmm. Just, just an incredible staff. Really, really good. And you know what? Overall, can you remember waiting very long for a drink? Never, never, never. But we'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that because uh, listen, the service out of I can't. This is the best service I've had on a royal ship in a very long time. I'm. Sure, I know you guys had good, good service on Icon. But this was good too. This was this was it really was good. In, it was really good. And the, we'll get to it. But yeah. um, go ahead, give everybody their shout out. I interrupted you. Sorry. No, no, it's cool because I also wanted to bring up another golf thing. Like on Friday <laughs> when they were trying to like, <laughs> when they were trying to putt, a wind would a gust of oh, wind wow. would blow and like a sandstorm would happen out of the sand traps and it was blowing in their faces. I was like, man, if Greg Norman was still in the PGA, he'd look like uh, Justin Bieber by the time this was over. (laughs) But anyway, I digress. I enjoyed the masters wholeheartedly. And Sunday I was at the hotel by myself. I had to call in a technician, uh, Paul Atta, and Trevor assisted me with that. Wanda Perlman was too busy selling mattresses, but uh, they they had a technician come in. They put in a new box, and I'm telling you, at 2:20, they teed off at 2:25. At 2:20, I got the Masters. Now, granted, I had to go to Shenanigans to watch the early rounds because I couldn't get into my hotel, but that was fine too. But anyhow, listen, let's say hi because I. I want to, I want to, you know, I like to say hi. And there's yes. been some good comments. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Sorry about that. Let me find a better song there. Terrible, terrible song. He doesn't like Greg Norman. Huh? 
Mr. Z doesn't like Greg Norman. Well, nobody does. That's why I'm saying he, well, I mean, he was good back in his day. Oh, dang it. I keep playing the wrong song. Okay, maybe. Ooh. Man, I just can't seem to figure it out tonight, Larry. I just can't seem to figure it out. There we go. Uh-oh. Matt Bird went to the Masters in 2006, Larry. Thanks, Matt. Hey, Larry, tell me, who won the Masters 2006? I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say VJ Singh. 2006. That I might... My... No! Uh, was that now 2004 Tiger won? No. 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 It Matt, wasn't... It to... wasn't... VJ Singh. I don't know. But here we go. We got Marianne Comp Thompson. She is Arnold's sister. And she just cruised with Dana. And let me just say, those two girls outdo us on Bromania with their comedy. Dang it. They might be Phil Mickelson, Matt Feldison, Phil Mickelson. Phil Mickelson. He probably had a couple good flop shots. 30 18 to win it, right, Matt? Here we go. Ooh, that's good. But let me just say where'd she go? I just saw it. Uh, did Gina Ricci? Where where's the Ricci name? It was just there. Oh, there she Carla Ricci. How you doing? Timothy, Timothy, Timothy Walters, yeah, he's in the house. Carla, 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 Carla McClendon. Angela Nemechek is in the house. She said Phil Mickelson won the Masters in 2006, yeah, yeah. Lindy Lou loves Phil Mickelson. That's right, that's right, she loves Phil Mickelson. Uh, uh, we got Mr. Z, we have got Mad Bird, we've got Rhonda Carney, we've got Sue O'Connor, we've got the Brew Baker, we've got Brandoline, 94, and who else we got? We got Lindy Lou. <laughs> I ran out of names. I'd be remiss, Larry, though, if we did not acknowledge Miss Tess Almond. Hello, Tess. I have so many jokes I could say that are inappropriate for the live stream, but Tess, I got to say, I think you need glasses or much like you read books, you read Facebook posts because the Beach Please post that I saw today, that's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm talking about, Tess. Congratulations. Here's what I have to say to you. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Debbie Shafkins, how you doing? Marty to sell. Marty Bacchi. Marty Bacchi. Marty Bacardi. That was a bad song. I didn't like that. Oh, yeah, this is way better. This is where I can get straight, dirty, and nasty. Is Big Al Clayco still here? We got Marty Bacardi in the house. We got Nato Corner Nurse Nancy too. And she's here to hang out with the coop. And she says, yeah. That's right. How you doing, Nancy? Yeah, they're getting a lot of views. That's not what I asked you. How are you doing, Nancy? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, we got Kathy L and Karen Griswold. Glad to have you tonight, Jamie Wilhite. She's keeping things right, and she said something about me being, uh, I guarantee it has to do with the luggage mats in my trunk. I got to give credit to Jamie Wilhite. The packet got lost in the mail, much like my suit for Bromania. Uh, Jamie Wilhite! Going to the post office is like going to the guillotine for me. I should have taken Larry's advice 
and let them send you a luggage map, but I wanted to match it. But I promise you, I promise you, I'll get it to you. Big gals in the house. Big gals in the house. Gonna be a Valhalla. Couldn't get me a ticket. That's, that's a shame. But that's how it goes when you play the golf game. Gotta give a shout out to Diamond and John. Ooh! John and Diamond in the house. Who else we got? I saw Will G, G, G. He's a G. I was there in 2002 when Tiger won the Masters. That is amazing. Any grass tips? Any grass tips? Yes, I got some grass tips for you, Matt Bird. Now's about the time you want to lay down the macros. Maybe some non-pre-emergent weed control. There you go. All right. But I wasn't done yet. There's still more people, Larry. I got to get to them. How about this? Crank up a new song. Oh, you know, this never goes out of style. <laughs> it's like it's like when you hear California love. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> California love. Wait, let me see if I can do it. I can't do it. The, 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 the music. Somebody give me. Oh, dang it. I can't do it. I'll bet I could do it, though, Larry. Uh, you can pull it off. The music's too happy for me to... California love! City of Compton. We keep it rocking. We keep it rocking. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Arnold's got a great idea for next week's show. Now let me oh. welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. The state sets untouchable like Elliot Ness. The track hits your drums like a slug in your chest. Okay, enough of that. CDM Barbecue Mafia. I'm a big fan too. Well, there's one thing for sure. John's volume is no longer too low. That's right. That's right. I put, That's right. I gave it a little razzle-dazzle. Okay. As they say, I think I said hi to Will G. Glad you're here. Gina Bird is the word up. Oh, we got Angela Nemechek in the place. I have exciting stuff happening. I'll send you a message. Nautical Nurse Nancy says Angela Nemechek. All right. Hang in there, Nancy. Wait a minute, Nancy. What's going on? Wait. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. What happened? What's going on, Nancy? What do you need to hang in there for? You don't have to tell us in the live stream, but you know, nautical nurse Nancy is is fam. Yes. Mary Barkley, Slumberjack, and Mary says hiya, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Hi to you and Jack. Uh, I'll see you two in not one week, two weeks. Two weeks. I'll see the Barkleys. Bill Wickham says, I think the speakers in my laptop are shot now. Okay. All right. I'm sorry for that. Um, send all complaints to the offices of Ada, Gleckler, and Perlman. Um, they're usually pretty quick about those things because, you know, we've never lost a case, but usually when it comes to damage, it's my fault. The timing. Yeah. Trevor. Oh, yeah. Uh, Roger Johnstone says. See you in two also. Roger Boom. Johnstone says, two weeks, not soon enough. John and Domin, I think you should sing again for that comment. Uh, wait, which comment? See? Slumberjack and Mary says, hiya, boys. Well, hello, Slumberjack and Mary. Um, you know what, Larry? 
I've got yeah. something special in store. You're going to have to bear with me. I, I know you got, especially you, Larry, you sent me a bunch of stuff. Um, yes. But I did not have time to like make it. Well, there's, edit. Always, there's always next week. But I do have this. I do have this. So you got to bear with me. All right. You, you got to bear with me because I got to do the thing. Well, while you're doing the thing, I'll just say this, that this was one of the first cruises ever that I got off the ship. Okay, here we are, Romania, 2024. I see I the bomb. I see... How about cruise crap? I see... No, you want to know why? Where's the rooster? Uh, yeah, Because right. I knew oh, I had another yeah. one in like 18 He's unpacking, oh, well. ironing, yeah, that hanging makes sense. up his clothes. Yes. This thing sail okay, away. So if it breaks so far, it's kind of yeah. windy. Uh, the totally eclipse was off the chisel. It was... So good. But I want to show you a little video because it's But we leave funny. Miami. See day tomorrow. Been good so far. Be, uh, We're on a quest to find the rooster. Tim Barclays. God. And literally, I don't know if that exaggerating. I've never I seen a male pack the stuff in my life. I hate this software because it makes me do weird we'll stuff. We'll check in with you later. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Romania, 2024. I see the bomb. I see Macaulay. I see come coming. Where's the rooster? Oh, yeah. He's unpacking, ironing, and hanging up his clothes. Yes. This thing sail away. It's been great so far. It's kind of windy. Uh, the total eclipse was off the chisel. It was so good. Let me let me tell you. But we're leaving Miami. See you tomorrow. It's been good so far. We're on a quest to find the rooster. God. Packing his 10 freaking packs of money. And literally, I don't know if that exaggerating. I've never seen a male pack so much stuff in my life. Wow. We'll check in with you later. That video is hilarious. Where are you? I'll tell you. Uh, Linda Land loves the Lin, Linda Land loves the shirts. Uh, so does they Kathy L. They, uh, they were. They are good. But before we, oh, wait, CDM Barbecue Mafia says he's off on the uh, celebrity. Yeah, see, I, my, my, my vision is gone. He's off on the celebrity grundle. So where is I? To, oh, celebrity, just celebrity in one month. He's headed to Bermuda. Here we go. Um, so, Larry, you know, I, one of the things I've learned as I've, slowly made my transition into stay off my lawn guy is that <clears throat> well I mean you guys see me every week I'm a freaking hot mess most of the time mostly because I get home from work late and I'm trying to you know throw something together um, but I, I'm non-functional if I don't know where my stuff is. Because the way I, yes, I overpack like a, uh, like a nincompoop. And I, I would have agita if I didn't. So I overpack to ensure that when the vibe hits, I, you know, I, I can find the right outfit. But mostly when it comes to like my, like my electronics, my computer cables, and everything else that I'm looking for, um, I'm just non-functional till I get it put away. But the, you know, there was an X factor on sale away, where I had a bid due that came in last minute because it had to be done this week, which we lost. So I wasted a bunch of time on sale away for a bid that we lost that. I'm not doing the work for. So it, it killed some time, but I, oh, I remember that now, but I just remember we, we got on the ship and you guys took my tip and brought swimsuits and we got great chairs, great chairs on the Lido. And, mm -hmm. and then here we are having drinks and in the pool and sun was out. It was good. It was, it was really good. When we well, first got tell me about the eclipse, Larry. How was it? <laughs> You know, I I see it get dark every night, so I don't know what the big deal is. But I don't really remember 
us in Miami. Thanks, Boo Baker. It getting like super dark. I just don't remember it. But yeah. there were times when we got on the ship that uh, it was it was cloudy at times. I and did. Then the sun came out and then it kind of got cloudy again. So I did set up a camera on the balcony, and I got a great, great shot of the eclipse. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if it'd be appropriate. For this live stream is all I'm saying. Rooster, I believe you are petting the pooch, so to speak. But the way it shows on my sc- Oh, God. It looks like you're stroking you're Larry's back. <laughs> Luna, come I, here. My lower back is a little sore from cold today. I like to give Larry a massage during the live stream. Oh. He's like, <laughs> he likes it. A little lower. <laughs> Can you see me, Larry? Yes. Okay. Um, but no, not on... Not on our hookup. No, nope. oh, but I, I see you in, on my iPad in the show. Larry, but, let me see. Hey, I got to touch on this before we get too far off track. I want to like retract. And so Arnold did an amazing job again. He put uh, him and Trevor put together options for us to stay pre cruise because we were there two nights again. And we actually did a, uh, a Zoom call and we all, all voted. And f- from what I remember, the one we stayed at was pretty unanimous. Um, and again, it was, he was the cool part. It, we felt like we were in Maho beach. I mean, the planes landing at the airport were buzzing our heads. Oh, it was, I don't know if I'd want to live there and listen to it all the time, but to stay there was really cool. I mean, the planes were coming in right over our heads. We had to have just been literally straight line. Literally straight over the house. And I mean, that airport, you, that's when you learn how busy Fort Lauderdale airport is because they were coming in like every, I I'd say less than five minutes, like every three to four, especially late in the afternoon. Oh, just, it was, it was really cool. It it was really cool. Um, Matt says it got dark in Mexico. Every time Larry lifted a 40 ounce. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Unfortunately I heard they don't have those anymore, but. And that's our fault. That's my I fault. I was looking. So so we we get to the Airbnb, and it's the three of us. Uh, Trevor surprised me. Oh, I got to start with that. So my flight got in at like 1130. John wasn't coming in until like 230. So I, I got the rental car. I was going to find something to do for three hours. And I'm at the baggage claim. And literally, um, I got my bag, and I'm on my phone. Because I'm with, with budget, they just tell me exactly what car to go to. And I, I feel there's a guy in my face. And I look up, and, yeah, there's somebody in my face. It's Trevor. Trevor surprised me. He left uh, the night before at, like, 4 o'clock, got in at, like, Lay down. 5 o'clock in the morning. And somehow or another, he found bars at the airport. <laughs> and And... Was just having beer until uh, I got there, so it was a great surprise. We then um, got our car, uh, drove to Duffy's, which I'm going to highly recommend if you're ever in Fort Lauderdale and you like a good sports bar with good food, good totally beer, good. all that stuff. And then we picked up John. We went to the Airbnb. Uh, we went um, shopping, and did we go to four grocery stores in two hours, Larry? And a gas station. We went, to four, we, we went to four grocery stores, a gas station. Then we went. And a, back, oh, and a liquor store. We went back. Yeah. Then we went back out to find some Buffalo Trace. And, you know, in our journey, we ran into what, you know, a high drama situation uh, with uh, some guy in the parking lot screaming and yelling. I was like ready for some kung fu, but that's the thing about being with Larry. You know you're safe because he'll, I mean, he'll just give the old whap But um, they had they had everything. They had Eagle Rare Luna. Stop. Well, this this it was so I we we know if you're looking for good uh, liquor, that you got to go to a smaller place because the big places uh, like Total Wine or or Binnies they. they they keep their good stuff for their real good customers. So you go to the smaller places, they got it. You'll pay a little bit more, but we got a bottle of Buffalo Trace. It was like 
32 bucks. But I'm checking out, and John's like, look, they got like a different looking Blanton's in the case right there. But we'd say to the guy, hey, how much is this Blanton's? And he's like, uh, 400. Yeah. Okay. All they did was take a regular Blanton's bottle and dip the damn horse in like uh, plated gold. Get the flock out of here. That isn't even that good a whiskey. I'm just putting it out there. Blanton's. It's not worth that. No. And they had Eagle Rare, but what was it like? 70. Bucks. Yes. I was like, uh, we can. No, we don't need that. So anyway. Well then, I, I I was at the one grocery store and I was like, hey, I I, really, I was looking, I thought you know a good snack would be like Ritz crackers and pimento spread. John's like, oh yeah, <laughs> so we couldn't find us. We're like, all right, oh. there's another grocery store a mile away, so we go to another grocery store just to look for pimento. Oh, and it was worse. We were going to have our pimento no. cheese sandwiches like the master. So first, we were at. The big one in Florida, whatever that Publix. Then we went yeah. to uh, where Liz Breen works. Win Dixie. Win Dixie. We're thinking this will be better. Uh, the one store, I said. It was terrible. They, they, I said, wait till you hit the dairy aisle. Every shelf was bare, empty. The, the, Except for some dude sitting in the. Dairy cooler. I don't know what was his deal, but I digress. But yeah, yeah but they didn't have like the, half the things were empty at the wind Dixie. But oh, that was crazy. Listen, that was crazy. I remember the first stop we went just to get like beer and some snacks, and then we, we yeah, we found the guy that was about to take a nap inside the cooler. Well, I think he was just. You know, he was he was cooling off emergency overheating situation. Let's just say that. But Larry Gary is here or Gary Garrett is here. Um, Big Al is telling Big Al, for those of you who don't know, is my dad. He is telling Garrett, tell Caitlin, I say uh, that we say hello. Garrett is Caitlin's husband. Uh, they are expecting, and uh, I'm going to be a grandpa. So there you go. Uh, let me see. Somebody said something else about, oh, Mr. Z said Buffalo Trace is everywhere where they are. It ain't where I am, but wow. Eagle Rare, I mean, the name is extremely fitting where I live. I haven't seen Eagle Rare, Larry, seriously. I have not seen Eagle Rare here since you were at my house last year. Well, the only reason you saw it at your house is because I brought it. <laughs> oh, well, then it's been longer than that. No, I'm not Papa John. Oh, I'm not going to be called Papa John, Tessamon. I've already determined my name, and it's going to be. Kind of that is kind of clicky, though. It is, but I'm going to be Papa Gok. I mean, come on. Papa Gok? Papa Gok? So. so um, I will say this, that the Airbnb was really good. It was a great location. Uh, there was stuff really close by. Yep. Um, a lot of cameras, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? You know, it was good. I mean, I, if I had a place, I, I'd want cameras there, too. Like, not not to be weird, but they were Exterior. mainly outside. And, yeah, and that's, that's all I really saw. Did you see ones inside? Uh, no, well, no, but the number... I know there was one in, there was one in the driveway. Uh, <laughs> no names, please, is all I'm going to say. Uh, that's all I'm going to say, but no, I'm not naming names, but uh, there's never any names being named unless it has to do with something else. But people book Airbnbs. I'm not joking, Larry. I, I, I know this. There are people who book Airbnbs specifically for... I don't know if you can hear the audio I'm playing right now. Yes, I can. They're like, hey, honey, how you doing? We're about to board Mariner of the Seas, but why don't we get an Airbnb for the night before? Make a little love. You know what I'm saying, Larry? Like some romance, some 
stay in someone else's house and get a little... You don't think they do that in hotel rooms? Yeah, there's no cameras in there that we know of except for when we find it on the internet and people, you know. But, like, who knows if there was a teddy bear cam? And let me just say this, Larry. I had my ship show shoes. If you're a member of the Facebook group, ship show Facebook group, yeah. you would have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go to the Airbnb post cruise to pick up the shoes that arrived after we sailed away. Got them. The owner apparently lives in the house that we stayed in when nobody's renting it. So if it were, I would never do this, but if it were anyone else, I would not put it past them. There's too many legalities here. And I am going to buy one of these things that keep coming up because I brought it up to one of my coworkers about hidden cameras. Now all of a sudden I get ads for hidden camera sensors that you can buy on Amazon. I'm going to buy one. If I go into an Airbnb, an Airbnb and find like a hidden camera in like a picture frame or something like that, I'm calling Paul. I'm calling Trevor, and, and you know, if Wanda Perlman's not too busy selling mattresses, I'm calling them, and we're going to sue the stinking daggone freaking living crap out of it. I just, I get that you want to get, you want to protect the outside of your property, but when you, when you're opening your property to guests, mm -mm. no, 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 because maybe you want to, maybe you want to, uh, Maybe maybe the couch is a good spot, is all I'm going to say. Maybe the kitchen table is a good spot, is all I'm going to say. That is not for your entertainment. Your home was for my entertainment, but did not my entertainment for yours. Okay, enough of that. Larry, yep. tell me what you thought of the service in the MDR. Oh, so, I have never felt... I've never felt this bad for a worker before. Mm. So we had we had my time dining and we really did Little my time Caesar. Dining. So most of the time we just walked up and said Here Little we are. Caesar. You know, we're the clumps and we're hungry. So the one night they sat us at a table and we had this this server. I don't know if we ever met the assistant waiter, but our waiter was a guy that he was a little bitty guy. He probably weighed about literally 120 pounds. And he 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 was just killing himself. He was Niraj. killing himself for us. His name was Niraj. He was killing himself for us. And we we said something like we wanted to order another drink. Oh yes. And John's now like, I know what you're talking we about. We haven't seen our assistant waiter. And he said he's getting your food. And we're like, okay, so John's like I, this guy's killing himself. Everybody hand me your cards. I'll just go out to a bar and I'll get everybody a drink. Well, right as John has all the cards in his hand, he's standing up. He's like, whoa, whoa, stop. That's my job to bring you drinks. No, you can't leave and go and do that. And we all just kind of like sunk our heads down. Yeah, and I felt so bad so for him. And then it, then he kept like trying to overcompensate, and telling us that it was his job to make us happy. And then then quite frankly, we blew it not requesting him the last night cuz we had the card to do so, but we left it in the room. But that that guy Niraj He was incredible. So And today I ordered two entrees. I hadn't been feeling very well. And I thought I'm going to try two different things uh, that see which one would, would agree with my stomach better. And whatever my first entree was, it was something small. And it was done. And he brings me my second one. Which and was I, Trevor's. It was, it, was Caribbean, it was Caribbean night. So I got Caribbean chicken. And what does he put in front of me but Trevor's Indian dish? And I look at it. And I can already smell it. And then he comes over. And I won't eat it. And he's like, "Oh, you don't like it?" And so I quick took a forkful and ate yeah. it. Yeah, we, like, mm. we were on edge because we felt so bad because you could tell he was just like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Oh, like he. I was not gonna let him know he made a mistake because he was so, so good, Larry. Yeah, and then Trevor got my chicken. 
And of course, Trevor downed the chicken. Yeah. So I had to take Trevor a Trevor got more... your dish. You got Trevor's, and Trevor's like, dang, this is good. Yeah. And I I just I despise that food. I was already having a lot of stomach issues. And I'm like, I'm going to have the world's worst indigestion and heartburn from this food. I could only eat like three forkfuls. And I put my first entree plate over the top. So he wouldn't think I didn't eat it. And he looked and he's like, again, oh, can I bring you something else? And I'm just like, oh. Well, if you remember, when it was all said and done, he ended up bringing me, like Arnold and I, like four desserts to take oh. back to the room. I don't know if any of them made it back to the room either. One of them did, and I never ate it. So, and this is what the guy would say to us. He would, he would say, Oh, you you guys are so nice. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Like, this is the nicest human I've ever met. No, seriously, life. that is the best server I've ever had. Oh, and I was... never felt we were not trying to say your service is bad because Larry, quite frankly, every meal we sat down prior to that with different servers. They were all great. The second the 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 backup server was all on it because you get on carnival sometimes they look at you when you ask for a drink and i'm gonna say it and you can ban me from cruising for life which is fine because i'll still cruise even though you've banned me uh, but what i've noticed on carnival is they seem completely and utterly shocked at dinner when you're like hey can i get a cocktail they just oh. feel put out sometimes they feel put out yeah who drinks at dinner where I can, you know, it's, it's not cool. You, you don't do that. How about you just be happy with the water I gave you and let me go freaking pick up the 17 other appetizers I got to pick up because you people can't stop ordering seven appetizers apiece. <laughs> well, we had him on day night four. And the ones we had before that, the Good assistant, night, Timothy waiter, Walters. The assistant waiter pulled their weight. The, the assistant waiter just pulled their weight and took care of the things that they're supposed to take care of. And I never saw our assistant waiter with this guy. And so he just did it all. And I mean, he was killing himself for us. So, so much that we felt kind of guilty. And then he just kept giving us the God bless you. God bless you guys. Yeah. And he was just tell... the nicest man in the world. He was, he was amazing. My dad says he'll get me some Buffalo trace, but you could tell, and this is the thing we were not at all trying to say, Hey, you're not doing your job here, no, sir. No, It was just, we no. thought, I thought I could like slink off and get the drinks, but you know, he that's busted thing you. I've he busted you. And that was the other thing. So you're eating chocolate cake and you're done. And I was like, oh, oh, geez. He forgot your blueberry cobbler. And you're like, don't say, don't a, say word. a word. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. I was in the same up. boat as you when you got your yeah. Indian dish. He's I'm like, like, don't say a word. So then he looked at you and he's like, could I bring another chocolate cake? Like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. And, then, I, and you forgot the blueberry cobbler. Yeah, he did forget the blueberry cobbler, but Dag Nabbit, he was on he edge. Was, oh, he was, he was so good. Tess Almond. Truly, it was not a matter of understaffing. That it's just no. that there was I don't know probably what to the waiter. I don't know. He was, but he made up for it. And all the other nights, the the service was great. The service at the bars was great. The service everywhere, everywhere. It was it was really really great. Again, I'm not going to make a big deal about this, but I didn't see our room steward till day five, the last day during the in the morning. I got up early. <sighs> And I left the room at about six o'clock and I ran into him that and he did a good job. But if you ever want like special requests, yes, if you Dad. don't have the room guy, if you don't ever know him, you can't say, hey, instead of two towels, can we have three? Can we have a, a nice bucket every day? Every day. Yeah. Can you bring us ice in the ice bucket? But I guess I'm going to start traveling with post-it notes and I'm just going to start leaving post-it notes. Ice bucket, please. One extra. Yeah. They're hey, really stingy listen, with towels. Don't, uh, did, listen, don't be giving Tess ideas out here. She'll be putting out just the tip comments about put magnets like uh, uh, Sharpie or uh, dry erase magnets on the wall to leave messages for your room steward. But uh, Dad, some people thank you do. for that. I would love some Eagle Rare. But if you find it, just save it. 
But so, do me yeah, a favor, good. Dad, if you could, um, can you cast a net out in the golf community where you live and see if maybe there's a Valhalla ticket laying around? Or, or two. <laughs> I want to bring my old Valhalla flag with me and let them sign the back. Cause I got. I would make that trip. I would make the trip for that. Oh yeah. Well, Larry, we're putting we're putting all kinds of pressure on Big Al now. Yeah, Larry, I feel like that might be closer to you than me. Oh, there's no question of it. Well, you're a little bit more to the east, though. Um, it's been a while since I've driven there, but I'm going to say that it's maybe four and a half hours, five hours. Mm. It's definitely doable. It's it's not that far. I used to do it all the time. Larry, say hi to Mr. Jimmy. He's here. What? And, and let's he talk fired, about he... let's talk about what they've been going through here. Oh boy, I yeah, I I've tried not to bother him too much because of uh, the water main break, and I know that they've already had two cars totaled, no. and he's dealing with insurance and the no. water company, and they had to clean mud out of the garage, and just they've been going through a lot. And you know what? He's been pretty darn upbeat about it. I mean, he is not. Yeah, like, I've never heard him like. No, he just if like. If it were me, I'd be like, this situation. is some bull crap. Oh, Somebody be, send in uh, uh, my friends. Yeah, so he's uh, he's dealt with it, I think, pretty pretty well. And kudos to him because I'd be losing my marbles over that. I uh, What a horrible thing to go through. But at least they're all safe. Their house, for the most part, was safe. You can always replace cars. Larry. Uh, we you never get what you what your car is really worth when you have to go and buy something newer. So he's dealing with all that, and good luck with all that, Jamie. Uh, we got a super awesome comment. Okay, I'm, super I'm awesome comment. I can't see it. I don't know which one you mean. It's Kevin Brubaker. He said I dated a girl named Post It Note. <laughs> I left her also. Was she sticky though? <laughs> uh, but for real though uh, I had on that note Larry um, with the room steward I really struggled to find any complaints and I don't know if Arnold's still here but that guy that took care of us on the pool deck um, was amazing I mean it's funny too Larry like you drop a tip and then all of a sudden well anyway our our server on the pool deck from day one to the last day was all Marlon. Who said? Oh, it was Arnold. Marlon, I've yeah, got video. I've got video of Marlon. Marlon took care of us on every level, and um, we 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 they got on before I did. I didn't deal with the rental car, and when I got there, they're like, "This is our guy," and John's like, "I already slipped him a 20. He's coming around like crazy. And so I was on about my second or third drink, and I said, hey, for my friend, he would like a Labadoozy. And he's like, for you, I'll get you one. Larry, I have that on video. For I you, I will get you one. I have that on video. Speaking of which, I'm going to show you another one that's that I kind of like. But um, I only... And that started truly, the big debate of Labadoozy versus Coco Loco. <laughs> yeah, but they... they I conflicted. But he reports. did. He said, "I will get you that." Right? He didn't hesitate. He said, "For you, I will get you one." Yeah, and he did. He said, "Next drink, I'll get it." And he also confirmed with Arnold that it was either gu it was guava. Guava was the missing link between a Coco Loco and a Lava Doozy. Come at me, bro. But here's the thing: I don't have any complaints about the about. This cruise really uh, boosted boosted my confidence in Royal Caribbean. I won't say that. I'm only like five days away from Diamond, so I got to like get another one in regardless. But the only complaint I have, and, and, and let me tell you something. Uh, oh, yes, Arnold, thank you for that. Larry, or, Larry remind me. To give a pro tip. Don't let me forget. I have All a right. Royal Caribbean pro tip. Yeah, I'm but, it down. but when we first met our room steward, he. Uh... Oh, did Jimmy have a hard day? 
Oh, Jamie Woolhite says, decided to stay. You guys are really helping me through a tough night. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. We Jamie Woolhite, I can't tell you how good that makes me feel. Truly, like, I I'd, I'd yeah. love that because I, I just adore you. And because everyone of, does. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, and beca because of that, we're going to do something completely unexpected. Larry is going to sing you a yeah. song. <laughs> My. No, you're not going to do it. Wait, what is this? From... You, you, you expect me to know something from like the club? No, here, here, wait. Here we go. Larry, I got something for you. All right. Why can't I turn that off? There you go, Larry. It's dirty. Pretend you're Elvis. Let me let me set you up. I'm caught in a trap. I, I don't know. How to, I don't know how to incorporate Jimmy Wilhite. We I gotta sing be in for right. Jamie Wilhite, the best lady in cruising. Hey, I mean she's an angel. She's an angel. She's an angel. She's an angel. She makes everybody up. smile. He came up on a cruise, and I, I brought up, I said, she said, two pillowcases, one for me, one for Melissa, and I took them both. I, and I forgot I took a picture of the sender, and she's like, you were supposed to get one from Melissa. And what did she say? What's Melissa's color, favorite color? I'll make some for her. She's awesome. She's weak. You know what? We This came up on our cruise. The cruising community is great. It's it's such a wide mixture of people, and that's what makes it great to me. Not everybody's the same age from the same areas. I don't need to go on and on about that, but uh, Larry, you just dropped a soundbite. If I could make this stop, I would, but apparently I made the settings so the song had to play. There we go. But watch. I'm pressing buttons, everyone. <laughs> oh no oh no our live feed might go off with you pushing buttons <laughs> you might have topped nautical nurse nancy oh yes there's something about cruising with your friends i'm gonna make a sound bite about your right. last comment all right i just okay. want this on to end here shortly but let me just say this jb white we love you and uh, well, we're glad that we can help you through a tough one. And I know a lot bring of some bring some happiness to your day. A lot of people go through tough ones. As a matter of fact, I'm going through a tough one myself. But I digress. The only beef I have with uh, ah no 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 no. She must what have his new golf club. What's wrong with you? I'm She's... talking to you about this. We've had she... No! She, she's, she's, this dog's she's, got 17 bones all over the room and decided to chew another hole in my favorite. Get! You're in trouble. Go lay down. You're, you're grounded. He didn't, he didn't say what his favorite was. Favorite. It's favorite. my favorite 70s leather hat that I bought on eBay a couple years ago. No! You're grounded. You're grounded. You're not, <laughs> I mean, you can't see her, but she looks at you like, I'm so sorry. No, get Larry, my room steward. Let me tell you something. Yeah. We were watching the masters and I placed a drink order and I said to Arnold, I'm going to run up to the room and grab my charger, you know, like the, like the portable chargers, yeah. you know, yeah. so you can charge yeah. your stuff. Yeah. And I go up there. Mind you, it was late. We were eating dinner late that night. It was probably close to eight. What are you laughing at, Larry? <laughs> oh, my roommate sent my, my my room my roommate from Romania. Oh, is he messaging you? Yes, he did. Well, at least he you had asked if he. He asked if she chewed the thing that I left behind at Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you know, you know. 
Sometimes you have to be a member of the Facebook group. I'll tell you, I'm an idiot. So I got a T-shirt at the Bearded Clam. We were walking by this this girl's, this young lady's uh, shop. And she looked all depressed. And I walked in. I said, what's wrong? She's like, business has been terrible today. So I told Trevor, I'm getting four T-shirts, one for each of us. Give us the sizes. So I got everybody a T-shirt. And I might even bought another one at Margaritaville. And I got so caught up, I put it on this stool next to me. And we, Trevor was like, we got to get going. I don't want to be a peer runner. I left it on Margaritaville. Yeah, well. Along with the gift that I was given. You were given the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. Let me just say that. And uh, oh, I lost it all at Margaritaville. <laughs> but, Larry. Yes, your room guy. But you went back. Uh, this is freaking chaos. A total, complete chaos. I'm sitting here in the middle of a live stream. You know I'm live. Your husband's watching. And you call me when I'm trying to tell people and keep them entertained. You cannot say a word. Until you say hi to Mrs. Jamie Wilhite. Hello. No, no. Jamie Wilhite. Jamie Wilhite. No, you got to say it with some passion, with some meaning. Like, Jamie Wilhite has actually given you gifts, pillowcases. Pillowcases? Yeah, on Freedom of the Seas. Stop it. Say hi to Jamie Wilhite. Oh, hi, Jamie Wilhite. Jamie Wilhite, I'm doing my best. I've got a pregnant woman who doesn't know how to keep a thought in her head. She's stuffing her face as we speak. I'm not. I put my splint in. Listen, we were on a roll, Caitlin. What do you need? Oh, I just wanted to tell you good night. Love you. <laughs> well, that's nice. That is nice to get that from your daughter. Love you, too. Hey, good night. Tell Garrett, thanks for the code. I love it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Caitlin, I need you to reenact the no biggie scene right now. Yes, you. I think so. What? You called in. You have to reenact the no you, biggie scene. I don't know who this is. I have a new phone. <laughs> Hi, Luna. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's no boogies. All right. Goodbye. Seriously. You, 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 you. Love you. Sorry about that, Larry. You're fine. But you know You got to take your daughter's call. It's a weekly ritual. Oh, my gosh. I wish I would have seen the comment. Jamie says, I can't wait to make her a baby quilt. See? <laughs> that doesn't surprise me hey, at all. I know you're calling That's me nice. back. I know. Wait. Kind of twinning. Oh, Caitlin and I are twinning. We both have a matching zit. Do you have a name for your zit, though? Hormones. Well, my name for my zit that Arnold gave me, which came back, Larry, after the cruise. Look at it. Look at it. It's like a, it's like a ship show island on my face. Arnold named it Rasputin. Oh. Well, Dad and Rasputin, I'm going to bed. Wait. You're not done with Jamie Wilhite. She says, I can't wait to make her a baby quilt. When, um, what do you have to say? I, I have my baby colors picked out. But what do you have to say to Mrs. Jamie Wilhite? What is it? Um, Jamie Wilhite, thank you very much, but you don't got to do it. Yes, she, uh, the Caitlin. I feel bad. Why would you feel bad? She's the sweetest. She is the. I know, but still, I feel bad. When people I think I need to fill you in uh, on the vlog because you literally received her gifts when you were a young child. I remember child. how sweet our necklaces. No, no, she did not. No, she did not. Uh, Caitlin, no. keep digging the grave. Then I don't look so bad. <laughs> 
Oh, those pillowcases they had. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And Stella fought me, fought them, fought me, and I said they're the same. Yes, it's the same. Yes, those ones. I remember. What do you have to say? Thank you. No boogies. I have no boogies now. Um. I I like non-pregnant Caitlyn better than regular Caitlyn. Hey, Jamie Wilhite wants to know what colors. Well. Uh oh, she's gonna screen share. She's gonna screen share y'all. Jamie's oh, telling me to be nice to the pregnant lady. She's not nice to be... me. She's not nice to Larry. Poor Larry's just got to sit there in silence while Caitlin. No, it's good. No. Mustard yellow and like a pastel -y pink. They're, I don't know how to explain it, but like a mustardy yellow with like a light pinky. Okay, good luck with that, Jamie. I can't. I just can't. Goodbye. Love you. Mustard yellow and some weird kind of pinky thing. All right. Jamie Wilhite, I have zero doubt that you could make something she'll cool make a, she'll out make of those colors. But for the last 15 minutes, I've been trying to tell you about my stinking room steward. Even Garrett's like, what the? Pfft? No. Caitlin, I'm not answering if you call back. Did you, did you want me to tell the story about your zip before I forget? Uh, yes, please do. Okay. It's a classic. Trust me. So <laughs> he shows up and he's like, what is going on with this zip? I come to cruising. So we have dinner, and I think it was after the night we did the live show, and we're playing uh, YouTube vlogs, and he's like, okay, watch this one. I'm going to go way back to when we did the Freedom. And as soon as he's doing the Freedom, he had a zit in the exact same spot. I you thought remember? somebody got a video of that or a picture. Yeah, but didn't somebody get a picture or video of that? <laughs> this is my pre-vlog zit. It was in the same spot. But Larry, somebody has to have video of that. Oh, that was funny. I don't, I don't think I do. The only, was... I know you have a good video. I know you have a really good one on your phone. <laughs> It was on NASA Day on the pool deck. Oh, oh yeah. yes, you do, my yeah. friend. Yeah, I have it. Was it? I <laughs> <laughs> wait. We had funny, we have a funny story about watching the blues game. It's like, oh, <laughs> listen, listen, can I just tell you this is why I get a lot of grief sometimes from people about like. Why isn't it a group cruise? I know the girls just want to have fun and open it up to all the girls. And you know, typically when you when you're home alone and and you're with your lady and she gets around her girlfriends, they start gossiping and you're like, "Oh my god, this is ridiculous." Um I can tell you there is not even uh, Larry, there isn't a possibility that what happens on Promania could even remotely be a group cruise. Uh, as innocent as watching a St. Louis Blues game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> At any moment, it could turn completely and I made a comment. I made two comments. <laughs> oh, 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 Tess says she's heard stories that we gossip <laughs> more. Tess, what, what are you, really in the know? All of a really... sudden, of what happens to Bromania? Who's the spy? It, it just, it's just guys sitting around making comments. <laughs> yeah, but oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I need to, I need to divulge into this. Tess, <laughs> guys got, oh, oh, wait, sorry, Tess. I thought you were talking about us. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yes, guys do. We don't gossip. Well, we do about some things, but we just talk dirty. Dirty. No, just make dirty. Just, just make comments. That's really about all. Make, well, make observations just, and comments. That's really about it. I'm just inappropriately I, dirty. <laughs> like, you guys think I'm so nice, but you saw my video and the t-shirt I was wearing. I'm a dirty, rotten scoundrel. Uh, all right. So, we got <laughs> sidetracked, so okay. please... Finish your story about your room guy. 
And ladies Everybody don't talk dirty. Oh, the ladies talk about things that we would never talk about. I guarantee that. I guarantee it because we talk about drinks and beer and who's Bernie Ferdico or Ferdurko? <laughs> who's that? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. If you don't know, you don't know. It cannot be a group cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I ever know that Bernie Federico, Hall of Fame hockey player, would make everybody beat their pants laughing so hard. Oh, crap. It was the greatest thing ever. Oh, my God. Good night, I had, Garrett. I had perfect timing on that. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Bernie. Okay, seriously, we're going to close it out with this. I have a couple other videos I want to show, for real. Uh, any of you who tuned in just to watch this or that, I can tell you this. We have um, 58 people watching, and I'm going to tell you right now, if the number drops... When I tell you there will not be a free prize tonight in the next two minutes, what you guys don't realize is that YouTube tells me exactly who left. Like who was just here for a prize. So if you were getting ready to leave even though you weren't here for a prize, I'm going to think you were. And Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, Michelle Bowen, how you doing? Glad to see you. Hey, hey, seriously, I got a call from the hubs the other day. I tried to call him back and he didn't answer, but he called me twice. What's up with that, Michelle? You be, d d tell Jay not to be calling me and that, and then not answering my return call. That's all I'm going to say. All right. And I'm kidding. My room steward. We were at Playmakers watching the Masters. And this is one of the ruder things that I've dealt with. Uh, Brandoline says, I'm here for the prizes, but uh, never win. He wanted fashion advice. Then why didn't he answer when I called him back three minutes later? Jay! We're sitting there watching the Masters. I gave my card to Sir Lancelot. No joke. The bartender at Playmaker's name was Lancelot. Yeah. I give my my C pass card or whatever it's called on Royal uh, Sailing Sign, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go get my portable charger. I run up to the room, and I realize, oh snap! I left my card. Where's my co-host Luna? Now's your time. Just get in here. I left my card. I told the, uh, there was another room steward, like two doors down. I said, hey, I gave my, my card to the room steward and I need to get my room to grab something. He's like, oh, okay, no problem. And he gets on his phone. I don't know why. I thought he was going to like verify with like guest services or something. He calls my room steward, apparently. I can hear him, t like, communicating with my room steward, telling him, hey, he needs in the room. And I can hear my room steward screaming, you know, through the earpiece. And I'm like, hey, I didn't know you were calling my room steward. Seriously, I'll just go back down to the bar, get my card, and come back. He's like, no, no, it's all good. It's all good, sir. And I, I that was my mistake because... He said, he's coming up right now. I stood outside my door for 15 minutes. Um, oh, Jay's here. I need advice for what to wear to a work. Jay Bowen, I got you. We need to talk soon. I got you. Matter of fact, I got a hat I could send you. But he says, uh, don't, don't worry He'll come. I stood outside my room for 15 minutes and my room steward, he never showed. So I was just like, screw it. I'm going to go get my card and that'll be the end of it. 
I go down to the bar. I get my card. Uh, oh, as I'm walking down the hallway, the same guy that uh, that called the room store and said, did you get in? I'm like, no, he never showed up. Fast forward. <coughs> that was not the right thing there. <laughs> That's not it either. Anyway, fast forward to the next uh, afternoon. I'm walking down the hall. My room steward says to me, hey, I'm sorry. And I, listen closely. This is what he says. I'm, I'm very, very keen to the nuances, regardless of language. He says, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I came to your room. I waited a half an hour for you to show up, and you never showed up. I waited 15 minutes for you, mother clucker, and you didn't show up. I didn't even ask you to come. I thought the guy in the hallway was going to let me in. So don't, uh, don't bring that up to me. And I, but that's not how I was feeling in the moment, but that's what I was thinking. Like, okay, he's setting the stage. It gets worse. So I said, no, man, seriously, I told the guy not to call you. I didn't know he was calling you. I thought he was going to let me in. And he goes, no, no, I was eating dinner. I was eating dinner with my wife. And um, I had to, the elevator, it was a long wait. So I had to let my wife sitting, at, leave my wife sitting at the table. And by the time I got up, you, up there, you weren't there. I waited for you for a half an hour. Well, trust me, y'all, I'm not lying. I stood at my door for 15 minutes. And the guys who were at the bar that I was hanging out with, Larry, Trevor, and Arnold, could vouch for that. So I'm like, yeah, man, I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't want him to call you. And, you know, that was sort of the end of that. But fast forward another day. No, no, no. Fast forward like four hours. Same thing happened to me. But this time... All right. Same thing happened. We were at the pub. I gave my card and I went to do something. I needed something in the room. I go back up and my room steward's in the hallway. And I said, oh, wow. This is great because I, the bartender has my drink card. I said, I do need to get in the room. He goes, oh, good, good. No need to call somebody to come grab me from dinner. That's what he said. That is what he said. And I, I didn't say anything. I, I, normally, as I did on my flights to and from on this trip, I'm not going to hold back on that. But I, is Larry gone? Did I like, where's Larry? Oh, snap. Larry, where'd you go? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, well, you were gone for, I don't know what happened. I was uh, just I rambling. I, I see my face on my screen, but not on the live feed. Yeah, here I am going on a rooster's rant, but he said there. that. He goes, no need to call. And and uh, you know, I was just like, are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Like, I didn't ask anybody to call you in the first place. And... You know, normally, this is how I got my revenge. Like, after that, we still had two days after that. I just did not interact with him. Uh, I just, when I would see him, he'd be like, hi, Mr. Okay. Okay, man. Whatever. You do your thing. Because, uh, Larry, Arnold and I, Arnold might disagree, but I feel like I was much more fastidious on this cruise in terms of like where my stuff was. Um, and I'm not rubbing Larry's back, but I feel like because of my first day, I kind of held it together for the most part with my equipment. I wasn't constantly fiddling around looking for it, but, uh, normally I would tip the room steward somewhere between 60 to 100 if he was good 
If he was not good, I would give them 30 to 40. You're generous. This guy I gave a 20. I gave a 20. And, it's, and, it's hard for me to give an extra tip when I never see the person. Yeah, well, and yeah. I you, seven day, I saw our guy one time, and it was like day five. On this one, I saw our guy day one. It was day five. Yeah. It's like, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm just saying, typically when you got higher in status, they would go out of their way to say, Welcome back. I see your diamond mm -hmm. or diamond plus. Thanks for cruising no. with us again. And you right shouldn't on day feel one. bad for expecting any of that, right? They, because nobody acknowledges that. it. No one acknowledges your status anymore. No one. Even I could tell. I could when tell. You check like on when you we the person Cayman. checking me in didn't say a word, didn't say, Oh, uh, Lawrence, welcome back. Diamond plus. We're glad to have it, There's no status anymore. There's just none. They just don't. They keep yep. cutting back and good night, big Al. Thank you for watching. Which is the way it goes, and I don't, I don't, I don't care that much. But. Larry, I could tell when we were in Grand Cayman when we're all like, "Hey, we want to ride Larry's coattails on this damn, <laughs> this damn uh, uh, the tender boat," and Larry's like, "Yeah, okay." Uh, the, the best I could do is maybe get you a small bag of peanuts. <laughs> like, I mean, they're not going to help me out. Wait, Little did we know we were going to walk? Wait. But we have to tell that story. I'll make it really quick. Yeah. So you'll in, do it better in, than I will. But, yeah. But wait, let me just close it out. All right. That was the worst. Don't try and confront me. I did not ask that man to. Are you watching the live stream, room steward that we had on the ship? <laughs> like, just, just, just don't. Don't tell me you were at dinner. I didn't ask the man to call you. I didn't know he was calling you. Had he told me he was calling you. I knew he was calling calling you when I heard you screaming in his earpiece, but then I was like, okay, okay, bring it on. You want to freaking get nasty? Like, I wasn't trying to interrupt anybody's day, and I told the guy I was perfectly satisfied to go back down three decks, get my card, and come back. He insisted. I made sure to make it clear on my review today that I filled out uh, – for Royal, that my room steward was a complete uh, passive aggressive, probably needs to be promoted to um, Carnival's shrimp cocktail maker. <laughs> anyway, Larry, tell the story. All right, I have two quick pro tips. So I learned this on the icon. And I just learned it on the independence. It does not. We're only going to tell this to the coop. It does not matter what your boarding time is. Get there as early as possible. They don't look. They do not look at your boarding time. You just walk right in. You get in the line. That's tip number one. Yep. Tip number two. When you are in Grand Cayman and it's a tender. So we all met. We were having, I think, a coffee at uh, on the promenade. Yep. And all of a sudden we hear, we are now taking ticket number four for tenders. We're like, oh, geez. I guess we have to get tickets. And that's when they're like, hey, we got a Diamond Plus guy with us. I guarantee you we can just go right on. So they run and get tickets. Arnold comes back and he's like, we're group number 27. Yeah. And, and point, did you notice, Larry, how many people were quick to drop in the comments like, oh, this is standard proceed? No, it's not. It may have happened on your cruise previously, and most likely it happened because you booked a, a ship shore excursion. Yeah. Yeah. But I've yeah. never had to have a, a, a just tender ticket line. when I was oh. just trying to get out so anyway, the port. We're group 27, they're up to like group 11. And, and I'm Arnold's damn like, emerald on Royal, so don't try and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. And Arnold's like, you're a diamond plus. Let's go down there. I guarantee you we'll get off. Well, so let me, like, wait. Right. Larry's, look, the look on Larry's face when we were saying that was kind of like, <laughs> like, yeah. Like I said, maybe popcorn or some peanuts. I could see the look on your face. You're like, but that ain't going to do us much, boys. I was just like, all right, let's try it. So guess what? We walked down. They didn't even ask to see our ticket. They're just no. like, 
I go, go through security. There's and the boat. bowl was half empty. Yes. It was like, why do you give out these tickets? It's like, it's, you could have gone off at any time. I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's perceived crowd control. Yes. So they think, thinking. oh, let me stay in the line. But yeah. I don't even follow that advice. So never mind. I'm not well, going to anyway, say I'm not Those gonna... are my two pro tips. Don't wait till your number's called on the ticket of the tender, wherever you're at. And don't worry about your boarding time to get on Royal Caribbean because they didn't look at anything on the icon either. You could just walk right up and walk right on. Now, I will say this. The icon embarkation was much much better oh, God. than, Ours than was the indie the indie was was not it not wasn't so good. much inside the the port it was getting into the port yeah from your transportation there were porters yelling at you and listen don't sit there and yell at me and then be the same guy and i'm not oh god we lost larry i need larry back why did we lose larry here wait 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 Right, I went back. to the all right. Larry. It, uh, my only thing is on the icon they had like every available agent there, and on Indian on the indie it was maybe ten spots. It, they just didn't have as many workers, which it was still. What do you? How long did it take you to get on from the time that you guys got in line? Once we got inside, not long at all. Yeah, no, I must no, say, I Larry, waited. That's what I was telling you. It never stopped. We were getting shooed along, but. What I don't like, and we experienced it more disembarking, but don't be the same guy that was nice to me when I gave you a, a, a $30 tip for handling my bags to get on board the ship that is yelling at me about moving down to create space the day I get off the ship. Let me tell you, when we got off the ship, I don't know, I, I don't know what you dealt with, Larry, but it was ridiculous. The porters were being complete a holes. My, I, I, I tipped a porter, a specific, like a, a porter, to get me through, you know, customs, carry my bags, and she took me to a spot. Said, "Here's where your Uber." will pick you up. All of a sudden, another porter starts yelling at everyone, "Get out of here! Get move, move, move!" There's signs above us that say pickup area, like. Don't be the same port. I don't want to complain about this. Dang it. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and then my taxi. So I, I, I see these guys over by the Uber and I talked to the fence because I was still in the line. I'm like, how do you know when your Uber's going to be here? There's like hundreds of people here. Oh, the porter was, will tell you and he'll. Well, I was you... just like, I'm, I'm just going to get in a taxi. So I took oh, a taxi. Yes. Oh, Larry, I remember that. You're like. I'm just going to go over there where the taxis are. And I, for a moment, I was like, Larry might be onto something. But yeah, we well, let me, finish, let, me, let me tell you how that went. The guy was great. $120 later when I pulled up to the Fort Lauderdale <laughs> Airport. Yeah. $120 for a taxi from the yeah. Port of Miami to Fort Lauderdale Airport. Well, it's like if it I, what it is, weighing I guess. my options in the moment, with what was going on when we were debarking, that would have been a small price to pay. But I do have a pro tip because I Arnold told me to mention this. Um, cause we had talked about um Arnold, help me out. I, I keep forgetting the name. It's your Royal Caribbean pro tip. I wrote it down. Yeah. What yeah, Arnold, I keep forgetting the name though. Why do I keep forgetting the name? Arnold, right, help him out. Well, Larry, you might know our. Uh, what are we, what's our, the topic? The the pool deck server that we had every time. Oh, he was great. He, he was, was fantastic. Marlon, thank you. Yeah, Marlon. He was great. And it oh. was it wasn't just Marlon I did it with, but you know how a lot of people complain about, um, like. When you're on Carnival, every <laughs> Kevin Brubrick says it was Bernie for Duke Girl. <laughs> but when you're on Carnival, every time you get a drink, you're like getting blasted in the face with the guy next to you's uh, receipt blowing in your eyes from the pool deck. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. On Royal, lately, you don't get those, right? Yeah, but 
I can tell you this, and I learned this on, on, by my own doing, just I asked Marlon, our pool deck server, who was our pool deck server every single day. Um, I said, hey, can you bring me a slip so I can put a tip on? He said, sure, sure. And he did. So if you find a server that may be going above and beyond, uh, like Marlin was, and the guys at the schooner bar, for sure, um, and a couple of, you know, I did it four times, maybe five on the cruise, where I say, hey, can you bring a slip so, you know, so I can tip? And they brought it, and you can actually leave. That is a good tip because when I go to the when I go to the pool, I don't take my wallet. I don't take my wallet. Now later in the night, if I think I might go to the casino, I bring my wallet, and I always try to have tons of ones, and I'll flip them a few ones. But at the pool, I never have my wallet, so I didn't. I didn't even know you did that. But that is a good tip. It is, and he deserved. He deserved. You know, every every third, fourth time, slip them five bucks. It's like they are so appreciative when you do it. Well, uh, I will say this. I loved Marlon, and I think Arnold would agree with me. I, I definitely loved that. T- I tipped him more than five. Um, I usually tipped him $20 a day. Um, and it, he definitely um, came around. But I feel like Marlon might have had a little bit of loose lips because it seemed like every time I dropped that tip, about three minutes later, every other server on the pool deck was coming over. Was asking, and uh, listen, I wasn't trying to exclude anyone, but Arnold was, or Arnold Marlin was our guy. Am I right, Arnold? Back me up. The whole week, every day we were at the pool deck, he took care of us, and so I wanted to make sure, you know, uh, that I spread the wealth. Exactly, yeah. Tessa Mond, our room steward. Yeah, he sure did, says Arnold. I, I'm done complaining. Larry, the service, the food, all of it was fantastic on that. Oh, trip. I. Uh, what the, we're complaining uh, about is is. It's really not complaining. It's just it, that I can't say anything bad about it. It was for for an older ship it it has gone through some rehabs and it's great and it's got great areas and everything about it's really good it was in very very good condition um everybody was yeah. friendly it the each night like that we had n- numerous different servers in the main dining room they were all great yeah. you're in the uh you go to the wind jammer to eat and i mean they Who come around now the wind jammer to eat you didn't eat at the wind jammer at all oh, no i'm just kidding but I mean, they like at breakfast or lunch. They're coming over. At, Can I get you water? Can I get you a coffee? I mean, they just don't take your dirty dishes. I mean, they just they were just really good. It was everything about it was was very very good. I I other than not beating my room guide to day five, but again, he did a great job. And I I'm telling you, I've learned a system. I don't leave any dirty clothes around. Maybe when I get back at night, I take because I want to just go right to bed. But in the morning, I I. I bring one great big trash bag, and as the cruise goes, all my dirties go in that trash bag. They're out of sight. They're not laying around. Um, I try to pick up and throw our trash away. So, but er- everything about the, the the cruise was great. I would highly recommend the Independence of the Sea. Best way of well, saying. Well, as for as long as I've been cruising, uh, I remember. Everyone has always said, not everyone, but I remember there's been like a long standing like commentary about um, how independence of the seas is a step above the other two freedom class ships. That's what I remember. But then again, I can't remember if I was on independence or liberty. So there's that. (laughs) But Larry, we're going to close it out. It, All right. It's time, but I have a couple videos I want to share with you guys okay. that I think are kind of cool. All right. Uh, Larry, I don't know if you've seen these. I may not have. But I will now. This is when we were waiting for you. Or maybe. Oh, you, and I haven't. You I'm, might be in this one, actually. Hold on. Let's see if it works. 
Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if it works. Give me what you want there, Arnold, now, but I don't know me, why you need to be the... running 13 miles of stinking dag on freaking day. You can talk about my bags all you want, but your baggage is running. You, you don't run because you have 75 pounds of bags every single time you go anywhere. That's right, uh, I'm into fitness. Go. Are you? Yes. Here we you go. carry bags? I gotta yes. turn Just it off. Give me what you want there, Arnold. But I don't know why you need to be running 13 miles a stinking dag on freaking day. You can talk about my bags all you want, but your baggage is running. You, you don't run because you have 75 pounds of bags every single time you go anywhere. That's right. I'm into fitness. Are you? Yes. You just carry bags? Yes. Just like you're into fitness donut in your mouth. I don't know if you heard that. Did you hear it, Larry? No. Oh, you couldn't hear it? No, but I'll, it's all right. Did they I'll, hear it? I'll, I'll watch on the replay. Wait. No. Could they not hear it? I don't know. I'm sure they did. Okay, we heard it. Okay, there's one other one. This is one of my favorites. Larry, I don't know if you recall, but uh, at the Airbnb, I, when I was cooking bratwurst, I, uh, I found... What the hell's on my bed? We didn't get a towel animal. What the hell is that? Behind the grill. What the? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, we closed and the door. What? The, what is this, dude? Sorry. I gave it to Arnold as a gift. Why is this doing? Are you oh, kidding me? Wrong thing Look, here. it happens. I'm old. Give me a minute. <laughs> I found a, a <laughs> night. Nut that, that I thought what the might hell's be a on my bed? Arnold. It, it kind of looked like... We didn't get a towel animal. What the hell is this? Got. You know what I'm saying? What the... It, just, f it didn't. No, we closed the door. What the, What is this, dude? Sorry, I busted a nut on your bed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look, it happens. I'm old. <laughs> Good night. What the hell's on my bed? We didn't get a towel animal. What the hell is this? What the? F <clears throat> no, we closed the door. What? The, what is this, dude? Sorry, I busted a nut on your bed. Are you kidding me? Look, it happens. I'm old. <laughs> Good night. Arnold busted a nut on my bed. Now here's the last and final one. And this goes out to all y'all freaking anti-mattresses the, the on the balcony, ban them for life people. This goes out to you. This goes out to you freaking silly people who, oh God, we lost Larry. I don't think people he's People talk interested. about like germs on the balcony, no, but gotta, no one ever talks about the fact that they don't wash the freaking here. sheets on your bed on Royal Caribbean. Oh, there is a Larry. freaking poop Larry. stain on my bed. And I'm telling you, Arnold is my witness. I did not poop the bed. We lost Larry. Might have. I think it was a shark. We lost him. Does that count as a poop? Yes. Uh, a shark's a poop, that. but I didn't do that. So you so wait, your claim since you I'm sorry, claim, this is how I have to do uh you're claiming videos. That somebody else, but this one has a center to what it. it is. Like there was actually like a solid thing there. You're you're claiming Where's Larry? This is this is the entertainment you were looking for. I'm calling him. I think he tuned out. I think he said I've had enough of this. Let's call Larry. If he if he leaves me unanswered, we know what he did. What happened? I don't know. I'm gone. I know. I, I clicked the link. By the way, you're live. <laughs> Luna's taking your spot. What? Hey. Oh, back. there you are. Okay. Did you hang up like, hey, I'm ready for bed? 
Larry, no, did, I as I saw that video, I thought of something, and then when I got kicked out, I forgot what it was that I was going to bring up. Okay, because I was thinking like, oh, maybe Larry's like, you know what? Now's a good time to escape. <laughs> no, no. All right, here we go. I got a video for y'all. They said I I left the show when you said there was no prize in me. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, where is this dang video? What is this? People talk about like germs on the balcony, I'm racking my brain but no one ever talks about the fact that you don't wash the freaking sheets on your bed on Royal Caribbean. There is a freaking poop stain on my bed, and I'm telling you, Arnold is my witness. I did not poop the bed. Minor. All you people talking about banning people for cruising for yes. life. Oh. I'm sure it's a poop, but I didn't do that. So you're so wait. Your claim, since you say they didn't claim to clean the sheets, you're claiming that somebody else. This one has a center to it. Like there was actually like a solid thing there. You're you're claiming that someone came else. Your one else came into this room, laid in your bed, and sharded in your bed. No, I'm saying the person before me did. Mm. They didn't wash the sheets. I thought it smelled like freaking Prell or or like Alberto V05 when I got in this bed. That's disgusting. You know what? I'm putting that side out in the balcony. People talk about like oh my gosh. germs. You know what, Larry? Kevin Brubaker just brought up a good point. Arnold can't be a witness. He's the damn judge. <laughs> uh, did you get turned down service, but there was a poop stain? Okay, I'll come clean, Tess. It was... <laughs> I'll come clean, but you can't... You can... I'm not coming clean. Let's just say it wasn't really poop. It... Well, I see they finally separated your beds. <laughs> yes, and the guy who separated our beds had just finished eating chicken wings. He had just, he did it on like day three, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kevin Brubaker says, turd down service. <laughs> there was freaking uh, poop in my bed, and y'all are crying about sneaking daggone freaking balcony sleepers and the germs on the, sp the bottom of your mattress. But worse yet, Let's just take the mattresses out of the mix. You're worried about the germs on the floor of your balcony, but not worried about freaking turd dust. I'm telling you, every opportunity that I got on that cruise, I farted on my bed. <laughs> I blasted it with turd dust. You know why? Because of people like you who think that people should be banned for life because of the germs on the balcony. Larry, I can tell you that our balcony was hosed down twice, twice yeah, over a five day cruise. I can tell you what wasn't hosed down twice and that was my room or my mattress. So get off your sticking high horse. As a matter of fact, when you do, I hope you break an ankle and it reminds you to stop commenting on Facebook about what bothers you. Wait, isn't that what I've been doing for like the last two hours, Larry? I think I feel like I feel like I I I I feel like I've been commenting about what's been bothering me, Larry. I'm a hypocrite. No, no. I just told people to stop commenting. You know, <laughs> oh no Larry yes I've exposed my own hypocrisy here <laughs> so again overall great cruise great ship I'd give it a 9 I gave the icon a 10 and it's hard not to um, but it was awesome very good I would go on the independence again in a heartbeat everything about it was great <laughs> uh, Daniel Field says sorry we're really late and kind of drunk, but having fun. Hey. Hey, that's what it's all about. We're not going to stop you. No. No chance. I'll see them in two weeks. Two weeks, I fly out. So I will be available next Wednesday. I will not be available in two weeks. Just give me the big heads up. On the ferns. 
It's the French. Why, why? Oh my God, Larry, what the hell happened? Larry! For crying out loud, you can't leave now. You gotta be here. What the hell's going on? Larry's, oh wait. You, cu you cut out there for a second. I know, I know, I know. I'm not pressing buttons. Having a few times. Yes, Daniel, two weeks. Fly out in two weeks. We board in 15 days. Well, almost close to midnight, but. Oh, let's see Excited to see Larry. the new ship, yeah. Crazy Cat Traveler, it's okay, John. You just went from puberty with the zit to menopause with the ranting. Welcome to being a woman. That's a super awesome comment. That is really, that is really funny. That is good. That's uh, that's that well played. Really I've noticed, though, a, a couple people have been coming in hard. Not tonight, but that's a, that's a, that's a super, that's well played. And Larry, ask Melissa what her favorite color is, please, says uh, Miss Wilhite. Un unfortunately, Jamie, she really doesn't have one. She just really, yes, really doesn't. Does. I'll find no. out. No, she you really know doesn't. I, I got an inside track. That's how I got the... Uh, the yeah, but I asked her. I, I said, I, this is something I don't know. And she's like, I, I really don't have one. Um, mine is green. Mine, mine is absolutely green. But um, I... She likes a lot. I know what her she's, favorite color is. She told she's me. She's big on pastel colors. I do know that. She but, told me to tell you to yeah. buy her a ship favorite. show red hat. <laughs> she has one. <laughs> she has one. And it's funny. She's uh, embarrassed to wear it, but then everywhere in Alaska, we'd stop. She's like, ooh, I like this thing for my hat. Larry. Uh, she'll, wear, she'll wear it getting on the corona. I just want to say before yeah. we go. Yep. I think you and I can officially claim that when it comes to people who complain about things on cruising, we know what's worthy of the complaint. So if you're getting your complaint information from other YouTube channels that tell you everything that's the worst about everything, you're doing yourself a disservice because at the ship show, the only complaints that you'll receive are the ones that are valid. Am I right, Larry? Uh, All yeah. these other YouTube channels that tell you all oh, the worst things I hated about this. I hated this about Icon of the Seas. They're just trying to get views, Larry. We're trying to give you information. We're not, it, like, you know, we're not trying to, uh, you know, we're not, this is not clickbait, even though it wasn't part of the title. If Larry and I are complaining, it's legitimate. And it, it, it completely washes out any other complaint that any other YouTube channel has made. You can trust us. We don't complain a lot. I mean, I do, but you can trust ship show complaints. Am I right, Larry? Yeah. I mean, if you said to me, put together your top 10 negatives about the cruise, I... You'd have come up with two. I, And like I said, my complaint is more towards Royal Caribbean that they just don't acknowledge... They, they acknowledge the first time cruiser in a suite more than somebody that's been on a hundred cruisers. It's just, that's their, it's a fact. So it's not a big deal. I've, the things you used to get are not that big a deal. And it's, I just, I can't, I, I could not come up with complaints. And if I did have a few, it just, they're so small and minuscule that it's not even worth mentioning. I would say again. I gave uh -oh. this cruise a nine, a nine out of ten. Absolutely. Uh, I'd and give I it a nine point two seven five. I gave the icon a ten because it's just hard to compare. I ran it through result. my algorithm, and I came up with nine point two seven five. But uh, Kimbo's cruising. I don't know if I said hello to you, but Larry, I can tell you this: there weren't a lot of lawn updates. Come tomorrow, it's freaking game on 300 right. pounds of seed going down dethatching freaking all of it stay tuned thank y'all for watching
Good to see everybody. Don't take any wooden nickels. Please don't take any wooden nickels. Be nice to each other online and forget the election.